Hello everybody, this is Nora and on this video today we are going to somewhat kill two birds with one stone. I will go over how I created this lace tutorial but also as I mentioned before I want to talk about my clear soak of gel base that I have that you see here on my right hand. Now so yes this is what I've been using or this is only it's I used to do this way before I used to do my builder gel overlay okay and after two years of doing my builder gel overlay you know I just recently removed that this year I've been I chose to go back with my natural nails and been growing them since January and after all this time I totally forgot I honestly I totally forgotten of what I used to do before the builder gel and so I thought it would be a good idea to go back to that. So basically what it is, I am using a clear gel base coat and top coat to protect my nails from keeping um, getting yellow by using so much nail polish. Okay, because I know there's a, for being a nail art uh, addict, I know there's a lot of us out there that they don't don't even mind the yellow nails it's a uh, I mean it comes with the territory I don't care for na yellow nails on myself okay I really 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 like to keep my nails on their natural color so to protect them and keeping them from getting yellow from using so much nail polish I use a gel as a base and then over that I can Put as much or as many nail designs with polish as I want to and they do not affect my natural nails now granted this here what you see is this is now a two week old and I am going to post pictures I'm going to insert pictures so you can see how um, how they have done so there you saw I mean this is about two weeks old and there is growth as well as some lifting and peeling from along the cuticles okay but keep in mind that part of that I mean had this been a gel mani a two week old gel mani with color probably all you will see will be the growth and no no lifting if it was well done but keep in mind that I have been applying regular nail polish over these nails and taking them off sometimes with acetone sometimes with just nail polish remover many times over the last two weeks using the gel polish or the nail polish remover will be gentler on the gel base underneath but let's be honest I cannot stand how long it takes to rub off regular polish with nail polish remover. I sometimes I gotta jump right into acetone and it takes seconds to, to remove the, the nail polish, right? So yeah, as you, you when you're using acetone to remove any regular polish from this gel base, you you are weakening the gel underneath, okay? So that will prematurely cause the gel f to lift. But being that again, I'm a nail art addict self-proclaimed I don't mind this at all because if I do a design I'll probably take it off within maybe not even an hour take a picture post it I'm done this is not something that I will recommend you know, that you will want for long for a longer manicure right because if I put regular um, regular polish over this of course you're going to notice you're going to see these lines okay it's not gonna look very pretty but for picture for taking pictures and sometimes you can disguise this okay and it hides really well and then you just create a, a, a design and you're done with it so that's what I have been getting away with okay and the same as you can see on my left hand this ha this these nails have the same the same problem as these that there is growth in there and some lifting but you can't tell you're pretty much you're disguising it after I will say maybe when it's um, after a few days I will end up soaking this off and then reapplying another new gel base so 
I will go ahead and now to help this to help disguise this a little more I will go ahead and apply my rejuva coat as a base on top of a vase I hope that this is all making sense and then I will start with my tutorial if you guys have any questions about this please leave them below and I'll be more than happy to answer those for you so now let's go ahead and get started with this beautiful lace tutorial Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied some latex to protect my skin around my cuticles on my right hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about how I did the base for this design. This is the polish color that I used by Barriel and it's a dark gray. It's called Taupe Notch is the name of it. And I know, as you've seen many other tutorials, this design, a lot of people, they use their clear, sometimes their, their, the clear black base that they've made themselves or maybe purchased. And I do not have a sheer black polish, none that I have made myself or anything like that. But in playing around with this plate, if you remember how I used this to create a base for a gradient, I've played around with other colors and they come out pretty sheer so that they create a pretty sheer base whether you use a uh, and now and I'm talking about regular polishes not stamping polishes okay so it picks up enough of the polish that it creates a clear base you can also continue to go over in uh, different layers of the polish over your nails with whatever you pick up from here and make it more opaque so but I thought I would use this to create somewhat of a sheer base that is very close to black before stamping my lace in black and you will see how I go about doing that final result after I cleaned up so there you saw how I went about creating this design now I will also I will also go ahead and mention as you notice here my right hand is showing that it has somewhat of a sheen I did not apply any top coat at this okay so as soon as I finished I loved the satin look to it when I did the design on this one originally, I went ahead and applied the glossy top coat, the such feet. And this is what it looked like. I did my thumb so you can see the difference. So this is the design with the such feet glossy top coat right over it, okay? And that's so that because if you go if you want ultimately want to end up with a matte finish, you want to apply the glossy or so, uh, top coat such as such feet because the uh, matte top coat will tend to smear this design the, uh, your stamping okay this is a, a hint for, for all of you that are new at nail art so this is what it looks like with the glossy top coat and it made it very difficult um, to take pictures because the glare just pretty much ate up the lace so if you like the look it's a pretty look I like it it's just that I wanted to be able to take some effective pictures to show the design 
So I finished with a matte top coat on my left hand and it showed the design way better uh, for taking pictures. Now this one, this is right after finishing the stamping, okay? No top coat whatsoever. And I really like the satin look. Take a look. Now I haven't taken pictures yet. I will see how these will reveal on pictures. Hopefully they will not put too much glare. I'm going to hand and dip my thumb. So here you see the difference between the glossy here on my left hand and the satin finish on my right hand. And this is again, this is just the finish of the base with the stamping regular polish, no top coat. So again, this is a, this was showing you how I use the if you have any of your plates with the blank images, you can use those to apply color to your nails and have a somewhat sheer base to then do any kind of stamping on top of that. And I think it makes a pretty look. It saves a lot of time. There's no needing to wait for the polish to dry to do anything on top of that. So remember, it won't be just for gradients. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.